Let's start. Where are we here? <laughs> okay, Mike. Are you posting this anywhere, or like, what do you do with this video? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you uh, posting it? I don't know. I'm going to put it on. Uh, well, you kind of have to have my permission to do that, right? Well. Do you do you want do you, do you want do you want this or no? Well, I'd like to know where it's going to go. Well, probably on YouTube. Sure. On YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What do you what, what would you like? Okay. To know? My question is. Can you erase adverse childhood experiences? Well, you don't erase any experience. Hypnosis doesn't erase the experience. What hypnosis does is it releases the emotional attachment to the experience. So by going back to the root cause of an issue, you, it, it, depending on what technique that you're using, if you're using an age regression technique, for example, you would go back to that moment of trauma and you would re reframe it because the subconscious mind in the hypnotic state can't tell the difference between what you imagine and what's real. And so when you're open to suggestion, by imagining that scenario happening differently or the way that you need it or moving it to the extreme positive opposite feeling, it then will release the symptom that you have from that moment in time. Now does the person, what if the person is still living in that environment? Does the person need to move away and so it doesn't move? These are two different issues. I, and I'm okay. not a counselor, so like, you know, they, you might be better having that person answer okay. that kind but of question. Do they need to retreat them with hypnosis? Well, if they're being re-traumatized on a consistent basis, yeah. you're going to have more than one just root issue to different symptoms or one symptom, right? Okay. So, like, when a person comes to see a hypnotherapist, they're going to come with one specific symptom in mind, and the hypnotherapist is going to work from that symptom, and then the person's mind will guide them where it needs to go to direct them to releasing that issue. Okay. Could, you could have a you could have one moment in time that creates multiple symptoms, and you could have more. You could have uh, one symptom that's created by multiple moments in time, and each person's mind is different. But their mind knows what has been. So, created. how many different sessions do they need? Every person is different. Yeah. Can, is it possible to to have one session and it's done with? Uh, in my experience, usually the one session would be something like a phobia. Like it's one moment in time that's caused a specific response. Okay. If you're if you've lived if you've lived in an environment with multiple traumas happening over a period of time, then I would think that no, it's a process of change. For sure. Yeah. It depends on the person. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.